You know, there are cynical people who are going to say this is all about politics. No. Yeah. You yeah, think? they will. I think they will. I think that. Where would they get that idea I from, know. though? I don't. These right wing kooks, you know, the ideas yeah. they come up mm-hmm. with uh, spur of the moment. I, they're just so nutty. Uh, but the, some will say uh, Donald Trump was indicted simply because of political reasons. And uh, wow. It's true. Uh, <laughs> he was. First U.S. president, former or otherwise, to be indicted on federal criminal charges. So uh, fascinating. And it's all over the document thing. It's all over the uh, Mar-a-Lago documents that he had that, you know, I, what, are you, what is he? He's ir- He's indicted on espionage, espionage charges. Well, I think you know we've we've obviously all seen spy movies, right? <clears throat> um, yeah, and most of the spy movies ba- are based on a person <laughs> with uh, legal access to documents that then stores them in their closet. <laughs> most That's, of them, yeah, the most they're of them almost are, all like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, like most of them are like, okay, wow, what, like, <laughs> oh, the, the, the drama is here, and then you find out, oh, he, he kept him in his closet, and that then they bring him into court. Yeah, when you, you think know? of. Like a James Bond scenario. Yeah. That's exactly what comes to mind, right. isn't it? Not that they sold them to spies. <laughs> right. Or they sold no. them to foreign entities. Which he didn't or do. Or they tried to of profit billions of dollars off <clears throat> right. a nuclear seeker. That's, you know, that's sometimes, I, there's an occasional movie that sounds like that. But most of them are, hey, <laughs> wait a minute, that area where the closet was was too highly trafficked. That's usually <laughs> this the plot for most Bond films. So that area is too highly trafficked. But the garage where Joe Robinette Biden stores his uh, Corvette, Mm -hmm. nobody's ever been in there, and it is impenetrable. (laughs) Right. You saw Mission Impossible, the one where uh, Tom Cruise was hanging down for the cables, and he was— Yeah, in that garage when he was trying to break into the garage. Yeah, that's where that shot was. That was filmed there. (laughs) It was a Joe Because they had the laser security system already in there. Yeah. Right. (laughs) That's how that happened. Right. (laughs) I mean, I— you would think I, there's so many ways to go here. It's and crazy. I think the most obvious one uh, is the fact that Trump is in the middle of a bunch of investigations by his political opponent. And what are the ramifications of that? But can I take one little half step back from that mm-hmm. first, Pat? You may. Am I the only one who doesn't really care if Donald Trump or Joe Biden had a few documents from their time in office yeah. that were in their garage or closet. Yeah. I just you don't, don't care. really care. You don't you don't I care. I just don't care. Oh my gosh. These are Stu. documents. Now, again, like espionage. Okay. Yeah. Let's say the, the guy who was um recently leaking stuff to his Discord group. Remember this? He had the the documents about, you know, the Ukraine mm-hmm. war and he was leaking them to his friends at Discord. Yeah. Yeah. You can see how something like that could be a real problem. Yes. He shouldn't have had right. access to those documents. Mm-hmm. He put them out into a public forum. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people who should have had no access to that information whatsoever got access to that information. Right. Real problem. We don't know what happened to it. Uh, maybe it could leak to foreign entities. Maybe it could threaten American security. Mm-hmm. Maybe it could threaten Ukrainian security, which seems to be much more what they're interested oh, in these days. that's way more sacrosanct <laughs> yes. than American okay. security. Exactly. Are you kidding me? I can see <laughs> why that would be a real thing to be concerned about. Now, yeah. look, this guy's evident. You know, his motivation in this case seems to be kind of like, oh, I wanted to be cool among my friend group. I don't know that this indicates that he should be in prison for the rest of his life. But I can understand why that would be a big story. Yeah. Yep. The st- story we're talking about now, even if you take... At least what we know of this indictment, and we don't have it yet. We won't have it all till Tuesday, it looks like. But what basically is going on here is Donald Trump was president of the United States. He could see any of these documents. He had all of this information already. He left office. You might remember pretty chaotic time when he left office. <laughs> you know, the, tip, the period between January 6th and January 20th was a little rocky, if you don't remember that. He leaves office with a bunch of documents. They say, hey, we'd like those documents back. He gives back a bunch of documents, but not all the documents. And no one is accusing them of selling them to the Saudis. No one is accusing him of uh, selling them to the Russians. No one is accusing him of using these to launch a secret war in another country. What they're accusing him of of is not giving them back in a timely fashion when they wanted them. Yeah, right. 
Look, can they find a it's legal uh, loophole in this law <clears throat> to get him in trouble on that? It's possible. Yeah. But, like, step but, back from that. Does this change the way you think of him? Of Does this change not. the way you nope. think he would govern as president nope. of the United States? Nope. Do you actually care? No, I really don't. I just don't care. No, it, and I will be honest with you. I don't really care if Joe Biden did it either. I don't however, really care. on that issue, I will say, if it's this big a deal uh, with Trump, you've got to reciprocate with no, Biden. Right. You have to. Uh, and that's kind of my point here. You have here, to. It's like both of these, neither mm. one of these stories should be the first time a president no, is indicted on federal right. charges. Yeah. It's too stupid of a story. Right. Like. At least some of the other accusations that have been thrown at Donald Trump, again, they, most of them have had nothing behind them, but at least some mm-hmm. of them were serious accusations. This is record keeping. He, mm-hmm. What did he put it in the wrong filing cabinet? This is what we're going to bring a president down on? <laughs> it's stupid. It's just right. freaking stupid, Pat. But I, I love the fact that the narrative from the left right now is that it is so important to mention that special counsel Jack Smith would never have brought these charges if he didn't have mountains and mountains uh, of evidence of wrongdoing. One, this one again? Uh-huh. We're getting this one again, Pat? Yes, we are. Yeah. Because Wasn't I, that the same thing with, uh, with what's-his-face? Um, with the Russian hoax garbage? Right. Like, if you could say, like, if you were to plot all of these mm. storylines on a, a chart, and they all started mm-hmm. at day, day one, right? And they all had this run of how, when you found out about them till their ex- expiration date. Yeah. Russia, Ukraine, um, I don't know. Think I can't even name all the freaking scandals that they've thrown at this guy. At this point on the chart, mm-hmm. they always say they have all the information. Yeah, they always yes, leak they to the press that they have impenetrable evidence that mm-hmm. is going to bring this guy down. They always say the same thing. It's at wishful this point. thinking. Yeah. They want it so bad that they just claim they have it, and, and, and they, they don't. And they want you to believe it. Yeah, they want you to believe it before yeah. you see the evidence. They're trying desperately to stop him from running for president. I, I think they're at this point. I think they're pretty afraid uh, that yeah. he'll beat him. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's certainly possible. I mean, they certainly don't want him to be president. Uh, oh, again. well, that's for, yeah. I think, yeah. you know, I don't, I, I, I go back and forth on, on what they're trying to do here a little bit. I know, I do too. But from the perspective of, like, I don't think they can be so naive that they would not understand this would help him in the primary, mm-hmm. right? They, they have to understand doing it's gonna this be a to big him boost is to going him. to help him in the primary. Yeah, for right? sure. It's going to hurt Ron DeSantis and Tim Scott and Nikki Haley and all of his other opponents. It's going to galvanize people in his support. Yeah. And so it likely will help him get through the primary. It's not a guarantee he'll win the primary by any means, but it's possible it will help him. I think if, it, it's likely that it will help him. And if, if you consider that the option, then I guess you're saying either they believe they're going to beat him in the general, this is going to hurt him in the mm-hmm. general, which is, I think, a plausible argument. I, I, you know, yes, us on the right that have followed every aspect of the Russia investigation are going to say, I can't believe they're trying this again. I can't believe there's another one of these. Mm-hmm. Some moderate who doesn't know anything about the mm-hmm. Russia investigation other than what they see on their occasional Twitter feed or Facebook feed and have no information about this and just keep seeing indictment, 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 it could be another story in the general. And that's a, a real concern you have to think about when, when you're looking at this stuff. Did you see what Jamie Raskin, who was a Democrat from Maryland, had to say yesterday about this situation? Really hard for me to just uh, not turn him off. I but, just but can't I, take I applaud it. you, Pat, for sticking nah, with it and actually reading what he said because I was not willing thank to go you. that far. <laughs> now, I didn't listen to what he said, but I did read it because okay. it was only one line. Okay. Um, <laughs> but he said that Trump put U.S. national security in Grave danger. Oh, stop it. By pursuing, quote, yet another lawless personal agenda. What's the agenda? Really? Like yeah, what? Storage? What did he do? What did he do? He had these in boxes, and did he go down there and look at them from time to time? Probably not. He probably didn't even do that. I doubt but it. But if he did, so what? He already, he already knew them. about he it in the first place. Were. That's why he took them. I, I don't know. If you're <laughs> alleging, if there's evidence. Yeah. That he sold them to Russian spies if if the FSB or KJB or whoever uh, is in power in the, in the in Russia now, if he sold them to some 
Russian spy. Okay, and you've got evidence of that. Oh, Maybe you've got photographic evidence. I'd okay. want him thrown in prison. I can go with you on the yeah. grave danger thing. Mm -hmm. I'd want him thrown in prison if he did that. Absolutely. As I think every Absolutely. member of the audience would. Yes. However, that's not even being alleged No, here. it's not. They're not even accusing him of that. You know what? Which I guess pretty much means it's not even alleged. That's how that works. Yeah, I, my understanding. I mean, they are. You could be yeah. mistaken, uh, forgiven uh -huh. for that. For that, when you see the word espionage included, as yeah. if this guy was yeah. hiding, you know, in a in a trench coat in some you know parking garage somewhere, leaking to Chinese spies. Now, look, if if Donald Trump had a threesome with Eric Swalwell and a Chinese spy and gave them the documents, I would be really worried about that. Well, did he wee wee on him? I, I don't. Do we I don't know, know that? Let's ask Christopher Steele. Okay. And then maybe we could find that out. But, like, Pat, what? I don't know what happened here yet, right? Yeah. And I, it will be months and months and months after, uh, you know, today that we will probably find out. Probably and maybe after the election. Af probably after the and election. And they'll just continue this yeah. garbage. They'll just continue to throw stuff at the wall to see what sticks so they can hopefully derail him by November 2024. And at that point, when we do find out what went mm -hmm. on after the election, they will just bury it on page 18, yep. right? Like they'll say, oh, yeah, he oh, got off. Oops. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, what have they oh, said well. about Russia? Nothing. Nothing. They, they just no don't apology. even bring it up. There's no apology. There's no nothing. No. So all of this goes on. But, like, what's the most likely scenario here? Donald Trump leaves office. He's a guy who thinks he's been wronged in the election. He's mm -hmm. angry. He, bull he pulls a bunch of uh, boxes of documents that he believes are his, you know, mm -hmm. I, I was in the middle of this. This is a letter from Kim Jong-un to me, to me, Donald Trump. That's me. My name's at the top of it. It says to me, I bring it home to my house. Then these people who just screwed me out of it. And again, this is Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. These, these people that just screwed me out of an election now want this stuff back. Screw them. No. Oh, I could, absolutely. I, highly plausible. Yeah, it is. Now, is that consistent with the presidential records act? Probably not. You know, probably not. If that's the scenario that played out, they may very well be able to come up with some legal justification that if he, you know, they, you know, they, if he did it and they knew his intent, mm -hmm. they have evidence of his intent, mm -hmm. they may very well uh, be able to get him on something. But like, but we're hearing that every president since Reagan has done this in some form, in some form. And intent other. is the difference. What they're saying here is that he intended to do it. Now, is it possible that he was so angry and just was like, I screw think so, it? Yeah. It's, it's possible. Probably. It is. Yeah. But so what? But like, is that a huge deal? No. These documents, no, they weren't leaked to foreign entities. Anything in a Mar-a-Lago closet is certainly more secure than something stored online. Mm -hmm. Right. Like mm -hmm. it, it, how, go if you live near uh, Mar-a-Lago, go in there today and try to steal a Diet Coke and see how that goes for you. <laughs> go go try to just play golf on the course without actually being a member. Activity? Let me no, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I should probably clarify that before the DOJ shows up. I am not clarifying. But I'm saying this as a hypothetical thought exercise. Uh -huh. It would be darn difficult to play the eighth hole at Mar-a-Lago sure getting would. away with it. You think stealing stuff out of Donald Trump's closet is going to be easy? Probably not. It's not. That's a, it's ridiculous. Yep. The whole thing is completely absurd. And yes, you might be able to go in there and find some legal thing you can catch him on. But fundamentally, what are we asking as people who are in the United citizens of the United States right now, voters here in the United States? Is this a reason to vote for him or not vote for him? And the answer is, of course, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not neither. It's, yeah. It should make no impact whatsoever on his ability to govern.